Hey guys, Kev here, and I have something cool to show you. So this is the Factor B3 from Winter Blade Co. So uh, Brian was nice enough to let me check this out. I actually had no clue I was going to check it out um, until Brad, Screaming Pirate at EDC at Blade Show, was like, hey, I got a knife for you. And I was like, okay, what? Um, he's giving me a knife? Like, what? <laughs> Um, and he's like, yeah, it's the factor. And I was like, oh, cool. So, uh, thanks Brian for, uh, letting me check this out. Thanks Brad for bringing it with you. I have some info here. So this came with it. Um, there seems to be a COA in here for a B3 carbon fiber M390 it's signed. And then we have a, uh, pre-order opening. May 24th exclusively at winterbladeco.com. Obviously, it's way past that, so I don't know if it's still open. Full titanium scales, new improved magnetic detent, steel cupped magnet design, stronger than the Factor B2 stock mag detent. So I think what he's saying is this is close to the B2 upgraded detent. Um, personally, I think it's damn close to the b1 um at least it feels strong enough that i'm not going to complain about it which was my biggest complaint on the b2 so that's good a uh, new configuration option so you can get this with the flipper or you can get it with a backspacer so it's like this and you don't have that flipper lever um it's kind of cool that the flipper lever is actually carbon fiber on this version which is pretty cool um you get better ergos on this version and i would tend to agree that feels great you don't have anything uh loose here that you're digging your hand into uh new blade options so there's going to be a stonewashed m390 and a damascus option so i still wish he would do a damn belt satin um it would look phenomenal on this knife but i think he doesn't do it because of this right here um because that rubs on the blade and maybe the belt satin just wouldn't look good or maybe he just likes stonewash um it is damascus i want to be clear about this guys it is not damasteel it is Damascus, and that's why it's probably the same price as the uh, regular one. New handle profile refinements, more choil space, uh, ramped access to blade window, etc. New hardware, T8 body screws instead of T6. How about them apples? That is cool. All of those are massive improvements in my opinion. Um, these are T8s. Let's confirm that because they kind of look like T6s to me. um t6 yeah those are t6s maybe the prototypes maybe the prototypes are t6 and then he changed it for production that's probably what it is um this screw always looks weird to me it doesn't look the same as these but i think it is and i never understand why he doesn't have a filler plate or two screws in here i think a filler plate here would look good um or just two screws either way um but it just looks off to me with that screw loose and i've been saying that since the first one so nothing new there um the clip looks cool this is some kind of um timascus honestly no this might be um some kind of anno or it's timascus i don't know it's not the nicest looking Timascus. Um, it's kind of greenish yellow. Just not something I like. It might just be titanium with a pattern on it, honestly. Um, but it's, you know, it's fine. Goes with the knife pretty well. Um, I love the handle changes. Um, the milling. Milling just makes a world of difference. I've learned that lesson uh, with Devo. We, you know, just milling is awesome. You got to do milling. Um, we have started trying to do it whenever we can. Um, you know, contouring and milling are very important on knives. And he's done a fantastic job here. I like how it's this horizontal style. He has a nice uh, unbranded pivot there with a collar, which is cool. Factor right here. Nice little cut uh, milling right there. Looks awesome. 
the backspacer this just looks so much nicer hate that um clip looks good reversible which is awesome uh milled all that and then you have this cool pivot with the lines very uh aesthetically pleasing compared to the b1 i would say even the b2 it just is a step up and the coolest thing that i found is the price is the same it's still 375 on pre-order that's pretty damn cool if you ask me um i would have loved to have seen him change the steel uh m390 is cool but everybody does m390 could have even done 20 cv l max s90 v this knife would be perfect for s90 v because it is essentially a utility blade right um would have been really good for that honestly very sharp m390 again thin tall blade um has a very sharp edge it's going to be a great cutter because of the size um the height of the blade thinness all that the choil feels fantastic um the ergos are really really well done they're better um the original factor was like acceptably comfortable it was like this knife is amazing it does all this cool stuff and yeah, you know, you can hold it and cut stuff. It's not like something you'd want to bear down on for long periods of time or anything, right? This improves that quite a bit, in my opinion. I honestly feel rather comfortable in this in the, on this knife. So I think he accomplished um, making it more ergonomic. Um, the detent. So we talked about that briefly earlier. He has changed it to some kind of cupped system. I don't know what that means. But whatever he did, um, it feels markedly better. Um, I've handled three, maybe four Factor B2s. I think one or two of them had the upgraded uh, magnets in them. And it they all felt weak. Um, they all felt like, what's the point of this flipper tab thing? Because it doesn't do anything. It's just like, and it would just... Um, this feels damn close to the b1 maybe not quite as strong but it feels really good um so i'm glad to see that uh let's see it still has the same uh one magnet design so the b1 had a magnet on each side with opposite polarity i believe and that really gave it a nice strong pull on the detent uh whatever he did here to increase it uh, worked so it's still a one magnet design in there but it has a stronger feel to it um, this has no side to side no up and down and you just have to give it a little swing down and it swings down it's not free falling like uh, you know the b1 I had but my guess here is that you know the pivots just super tight because you know, he loctited it or something to pass it around. I don't think it's like, I mean, look at that. So I bet you if I loosen that a touch, if I pulled this, it would just, I mean, there it goes. I don't really know what else I could ask for. That's perfect. I have no issue with that. Um, the switch or the M lock is still a little bit of uh, a thing left-handed. You know, if you're going to flick it, you got to make sure you slide up over it so you don't hit it because if you hit it you can basically not let it lock and then it'll kind of shoot back down um it doesn't seem to be doing that just kind of st still works honestly i don't know if i just can't repeat that like i used to i used to be able to just make it go flop up and down yeah it almost went there could be because the clip isn't over here i don't have the right spot but Anyway, that's a good thing. You just have to um, not push the button or not get your finger in the path uh, when you're flicking. It's best not to anyway. Right-handed, you don't really have that issue unless you put your thumb right here, which would be weird to me. Um, you know, sometimes you got to make adjustments on knives, and I don't think this one makes you do anything abnormal. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. It really is. I am highly considering trying to get one if they're still available. If they are not, um, I'll maybe try to get one when they come in. I'm sure he's ordered a bunch for dealers like last time. 
Um, or maybe I'll just ask Brian. Maybe I can get lucky. <laughs> uh, probably not. But, um, yeah, it's fantastic. It, it really made me rethink um, buying one. Because after the B2s I handled, I was like, eh, you know, great design, great mind, great all of that. But, you know, I need a strong detent to flick. Like, I just can't. There's no getting around that for me personally. If I don't have a strong detent to flick, I don't want the knife, you know? Um, so this kind of brings it back to pre-B1 when I was really excited to get one. And I got lucky and got one on the first batch. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That's the factor. B3 coming in hot. You guys all probably already pre-ordered one if you wanted one, so you're good to go. And uh, if it's still available, I will link it. If it's not, well, too bad for me probably because everybody else already knew about it. Love you guys. Thank you, Brian. Truly appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, awesome to check this out. So love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.